PGS, or pre-implantation genetic screening, is genetic testing of the pre-implantation embryo that may determine if the embryo could potentially be affected by a chromosomal abnormality. Although the egg giver, or sperm provider, are believed to be genetically normal individuals, 46XX or 46XY, an abnormal number of chromosomes, or medically known as aneuploid, can result spontaneously from the maturation of the egg or during the process of embryo division. It has been estimated that human embryos fertilized in vitro may contain chromosomal abnormalities in 50% or more of cases. Unfortunately, this percentage increases with maternal age. A common example of aneuploidy is an extra chromosome number 21, Down syndrome, or trisomy 21. The risk of having a child with a chromosomal abnormality, such as Down syndrome, increases as a woman ages. Therefore, one of the most common reasons to have PGS performed is the mother's age, although aneuploidy can occur even in the young donor egg. The most common cause of miscarriage in humans is because of chromosomal abnormalities. Genetic testing of the pre-implantation embryo can also determine whether the embryo could be affected by aneuploidy. For example, when there are three of chromosome 16, or trisomy 16, or trisomy of chromosomes number 22, are the more common abnormalities diagnosed in miscarriages. Screening the embryo for abnormal chromosomes can potentially lower the risk of miscarriage. PGS can be used for gender selection, also called sex selection, and is used by parents who choose to specify the sex of their offspring. Sometimes couples will do this for medical reasons, such as avoiding genetic or chromosomal disorders that are gender specific. Other times, parents turn to sex selection when they have a strong desire to complete or balance their family according to their own personal plans. We can determine if the embryo is a male if the embryo has XY chromosomes, or if the embryo is a female and has two XX chromosomes. In summary, abnormal amount of chromosomes, aneuploidy screening, appears to be most beneficial for women of advanced reproductive age, women over the age of 36, who have recurrent pregnancy loss, two or more miscarriages, or determination of the sex for sex-linked diseases or family balancing. Now, with newer technology, such as Array Comparative Genomic Hybridization, a CGH, all 24 chromosomes can be screened in the pre-implantation embryo prior to their transfer to the uterus of the intended mother or gestational surrogate. Therefore, your chance of conceiving a baby with a chromosomal abnormality will be reduced by more than 90% after PGS. The second type of testing that can be performed on the embryo is pre-implantation genetic diagnosis, PGD. Pre-implantation genetic diagnosis is a technique used in conjunction with in vitro fertilization to test embryos for specific genetic disorders prior to their transfer to the uterus. PGD makes it possible for couples or individuals who have or who carry serious inherited disorders to decrease the risk of passing the disorder onto their child. Genetic screening by a blood test or cheek swab may help identify couples with hereditary genetic disorders that may affect offspring, depending upon the racial or ethnic background of the couple, their family and medical history, and associated conditions. Some examples of the more commonly known inherited genetic disorders includes the following, such as cystic fibrosis, it is estimated that 3% to 10% of Caucasians carry a defective CF gene, but do not have symptoms because a person must inherit two defective CF genes, one from each parent, to develop the disease. CF is the most common, serious, inherited disease in Caucasians, whereas thalassemia are more common in people of Greek, Italian, Mediterranean, 
or Southern Asian descent. About 3% of the world's population carries a gene for thalassemia. Other ethnic hereditary diseases include Tay-Sachs. This disease has a high incidence in Eastern European Jews and French Canadians. Sickle cell disease. Anyone with African American ancestry should be screened via hemoglobin electrophoresis for carrier status of this disease, as one in 10 may be a carrier. PGD may test over 204 hereditary genetic diseases. This test determines which of the unaffected embryos can then be transferred back to the patient's uterus or surrogate's uterus to attempt a pregnancy. Depending on the type of genetic testing applied, accuracy of the testing can approach nearly 100%. Other potential inherited genetic disorders that may not be ethnically related by hereditary include hereditary breast and ovarian cancer, fragile X, deafness, autosomal recessive, hemophilia, A and B, hereditary pancreatitis, neurofibromatosis, one and two, spinal muscular atrophy. In order for PGS and or PGD to be performed, a couple undergoes an in vitro fertilization cycle in order to obtain eggs that are fertilized using ICSI. A highly skilled embryologist then uses a sophisticated microscope setup to biopsy or to extract cells from the outer layer of the embryo called trophectoderm cells. A few cells are extracted from the trophectoderm, the outer portion of the fully expanded blastocyst which is either day five or day six of embryonic development. Each sample is numbered and corresponds to the embryo from which it was taken. For PGD, a specialized test called a polymerase chain reaction, PCR, is applied to the extracted cells to determine if the embryo is affected with the particular hereditary genetic disease that both the mother and father carry on their genes. Pre-implantation genetic screening for aneuploidy utilizes array comparative genomic hybridization, a CGH, a microarray technology to assess the amount of DNA derived from each chromosome. It allows for all 24 chromosomes to be screened and reveals whether or not there are a correct number of chromosomes. At CACRM, we offer PGS, PGD, as an option to minimize the likelihood of having a child with an inherited genetic condition and to detect embryo chromosomal abnormalities. We invite you to schedule a consultation and discuss these treatments as an option in your journey towards having a healthy pregnancy and baby.